Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and I am so glad you guys are here. I appreciate that you can go to a variety of different YouTube channels and yet you would choose to hang out with a lady of a certain age who's not a makeup artist but who loves you just the same, likes playing with makeup, I'm kind of makeup obsessed. We like to kind of figure out if stuff will work for ladies of a certain age who are not sponsored, who are not endorsed, who are not affiliated with anybody. Nobody's paying them to do this stuff. Sometimes we just kind of want to know, does this stuff work for us or do we have to be a makeup artist? Artist, or do we have to be young without any road miles? So that if you guys are interested in something like that, I hope you guys would consider sticking around. Click the subscribe button, ring the bell to get notified, do the thing, you know, whatever else. Today I thought it would be kind of fun because I've got a little tiny bit of time uh, before I have to go. So if it goes horribly wrong, I still have time to fix it. But I recently had placed an order with Ulta and they had a bunch, uh, they had some of their, um, kits that are like gift with purchase for their diamond whatever where it's like spend x amount of dollars and you get this thing right i think it said that it has like a 75 dollars value so i thought you know what let's do a video with some of this stuff because i think the majority of it is the ulta beauty store brand and i haven't used their stuff in years i kind of kind of got away from most of it um so let's see if it's any good okay so cute little pouch absolutely love this this um definitely has like a little designer kind of feel to it i think that's super cute the first thing i noticed in here is one of these makeup eraser type washcloths and this one actually does say yeah it's got an ulta beauty tag on it so it's their version of it but it feels just like all the other ones that i've had and um I actually really like these one because you can get them wet and not even use a cleanser if you don't really need to. The other thing that I like about them is with this particular color, if you get makeup on it, they're not ruined. It's not like a white washcloth that's now perpetually going to be pink lipstick colored or black eyeliner colored. It does look like there's an eyeshadow palette in here. Typical neutral color. Okay, I like the fact that it's got a super light shade and a super dark shade, and it looks like a warm, neutral eyeshadow palette. So we'll play with that. My my memory of the Ulta Beauty eyeshadow palettes is that the palettes themselves, not the greatest quality. So I'll be curious to see if they've changed their formula at all. I did like their little trio round ones. Those actually seemed to be pretty decent. I didn't mind those at all. It was like a different formula, I think. Okay, what else do we have in here? Um, looks like we have an Ulta Beauty mattifying primer. We also have a matte eye primer. Let's go ahead and open these up and slap them on the face and just see what they look like. These are nice little trial sizes. So this is the mattifying face primer. I do have just a little bit of skincare on right now. This has like a domed applicator on it or a domed, what would you call that? Tip on it, which is kind of weird. And this does look like it's almost like a silicone based primer. So sometimes I just tap those on. They're like a pore filling kind. And this was kind of what this feels like. So I'm like, I guess dashing it on. I'm not really tapping it on. Actually it feels, hmm. Now as I'm buffing it into my skin, it does have a very kind of like slick consistency. I put on probably more than I needed to, but I just kind of wanted to see is it really mattifying? I think the majority of the primers I've been wearing are either kind of a moisturizing, almost like gripping primer um, without being like one of the gel ones. I don't really care for those ones too much. Or like the, the putty primers. I cannot get away from those. As much as I try other ones, I always come back to the e.l.f. Uh, Pearless Putty Primer. I just feel like it works best, especially right here where they have the majority of the texture. Okay, do I feel a little bit more matte? Yeah, okay. No, I typically, and I do have a burn right there. I'm curling my yesterday, not even today. The next thing in here is the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. I picked up a little tiny bit of it. I'm tapping it on the back of my hand. It doesn't feel like it's a horribly sticky product. Some of them, they're like the e.l.f. What is it? Was like After Party or something like that? The e.l.f. Not e.l.f. ColourPop. ColourPop had an eyelid primer and it was so sticky. I ended up decluttering it before I even barely used it. I used it Mm, three or four times. And it makes me sad when I do my decluttering videos, just so you guys know, these are stuff things that I, these are things that I paid for with my own money. And, and if it, if it doesn't, sometimes I have to be really upset by it or the price of it before I actually return it to a store. If it doesn't work for me, and I find myself wasting things when I really don't need to. I really feel bad sometimes about the sheer amount of waste, but I know that if I return it, they're just going to throw it away anyway. Um, okay. Eyelid primer is on. I think I put more on one side than the other. I'm going to put a little bit more on the other side and we'll just kind of give this, give this a chance to dry down. Uh, what I can tell you about this eyelid primer so far, and I haven't used one of the Ulta Beauty eyelid primers in a very long time. I don't really care the fact that I have to put it on with my finger, but I can get past that. I do think it did mattify it and I do feel like it created 
a little bit more of a smoother base for the eyeshadow application, which is kind of what I was looking for, um, especially if you're a lady of a certain age, right? It's drying down. It's just slight tacky. It's not super slick. It's not emollient feeling. It just feels like a good base. It's also relatively translucent. Does it have a color on here? Not that I can see. It may have a color. I just don't have my reading glasses on, so I can't see it. Okay, so in so those two things, those two primers came in this kit. I don't have any kind of foundation, but I do have a tinted juice lip oil. We're going to go ahead and throw that on. And this one's kind of a nudie brown color. It feels more like a gloss. What did they call it? They called it a tinted juice infused lip oil. I'm not really getting lip oil. Maybe just a little bit. It's like a really subtle gloss. It's a little thicker consistency than I think any other lip, lip oils that I've been trying. It's not bad. And I like the fact that it's a little bit nude because it kind of seems to like neutralize a little bit. I'm okay with that. Put some products on here because there's some things that I didn't get in here. I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of the Milani peach corrector underneath my eyes. I'm feeling slightly, slightly dark underneath there. So I'm tapping a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to tap it right under here. I feel like that made a big difference. I should scoot you guys in, huh? This stuff, I feel like I need just the barest amount and it's basically like, instead of being just a color corrector, it actually works as an under eye concealer for me. And I really do like the, the consistency of it. It's not too heavy and thick, which I think is easy to settle into fine lines and crepey wrinkles and stuff like that. I forget how much I, I actually really like this. This is the Milani Peach Tinted Under Eye Brightener. Let me scoot you in. That feels close enough. So I'm a little bit brighter underneath my eyes, which I appreciate, and my eyelids are pretty much set down. You know what? I think I'm going to use... I bought a new NARS Tinted Moisturizer. This is an old one, and I was hesitant to get rid of it it's maybe a little light for me, but we'll go ahead and try it. But I bought a new one and then I was like, okay, well, I didn't have an adverse reaction to the old one when I tried it because <laughs> I was using it for something. I was like, oh, do I really like this? And then it's like, oh, I actually do really like that. Why don't I buy a replacement of it? So I, one of the things that I like about this one is that it's actually super lightweight and I am such a fan of lightweight. There's some times that I go for a little bit heavier, uh, heavier base, but in general, I would say 80% of the time, 90% of the time, I'm going for a very, very light uh, foundation. And this is one of my favorites. I forgot about it though. It was actually in, I was cleaning out a car. I had a whole makeup kit in the glove box. <laughs> so it's gone through, I'm sure some temperature changes and I'm not really entirely sure how long it's been out there. I can't believe I had a NARS foundation out in the glove box of car though. You would think for the price point I would have taken a little bit better care of it, but I must have been going somewhere and felt like I needed a makeup kit on the road. Okay. Oh, did I just drag it through my hair? No. I actually washed my hair today and dried it and curled it, which is kind of a nice change. I didn't get to do all of that at the same time though because we were in a hurry. I am using a, a actual beauty blender, a real legit beauty blender. The bounce, a cream contour bronzer type thing and a highlighter was in a little stack and I think this either came with it or was recommended and I did the whole add to cart thing. This came in their little kit. So like looks like a blush and highlighter duo. I can't say that I've had like the best look with the Ulta blushes before. This is kind of a little bit smaller of a pan. So I'm going to take my brush and try to get just on the a little bit of kick up. Try to get it just on the blush side without picking up too much of the highlighter because the highlighter is probably, I mean, because A, I don't normally wear a lot of highlighter, but two, I don't, uh, I don't want to bring out the texture. I feel like my skin's actually looking pretty good right now. That primer actually, it, it wasn't super heavy, but it actually was a nice, it's an okay primer. And especially with that foundation, even though that tinted moisturizer is old AF, I can tell you it looks pretty good on my skin right now. Let's just see if we can't get a relatively decent makeup look out of this stuff, huh? So right now the blush color, I don't mind. It's maybe a little bit pinker than I'm, that I've been wearing, but I'm getting into that season where I might be wearing more, more pink colors. So it's actually okay. It seems to be going on pretty well, just maybe a little bit of luminosity. So if you want a matte blush, this might be, not be it. Just tell me what color it is. Blush and Highlighting Duo. That's it. Made in China. I don't know if there was other shades or not. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the blush is actually okay. I usually, you know, abuse blush pretty well, but I don't think it went on horribly skippy. We'll have to, you know, buff it up with a little powder at the end and see if that makes a difference or not, but I'm okay with that. Should I try the highlighter? I'm a little, I'm a little scared. Okay, you know what, since we're going old school, 
Let's do a big old fan brush here. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the highlighter on the tip of the fan brush and we'll just drape it a little bit up here. A little bit gray cast on me and I'm not normally a big highlighter wearer anyway, so I'm not the best judge of whether a highlighter is good. I mean, it's not horrible, just probably not, not something I need. All right, so let's get into the eyeshadow palette. Let's just try it out, see what it looks like. We have eight shades and three of them look like they're a shimmer of some kind. We've got kind of like this raspberry shimmer. We've got a more of a mid-tone. I'd almost call it like a taupey, taupe, taupe neutral brown. And then one that's maybe a smidge darker and cooler toned perhaps. And then we've got these three mattes right here and then these two mattes right here. So I'm gonna leave this one for a little bit more of an inner color corner. I don't think this is gonna do anything on me, but since I have that eyelid primer, let's go ahead and put this on to see if that'll set down at all. Um, not that I feel like it needed to because it felt like it dried down pretty well, but if we're gonna use a shade to kind of neutralize the eye base, let's just see if that doesn't work. And I think my impression of the Ulta, uh, Ulta eyeshadows in the palette have been that they're kind of chalky and pretty sheer, which is not usually what I'm looking for. So I'll be real curious to get into the darker colors and see how, how sheer they actually are. Okay, this is a little bit smaller of a brush. This is a Sigma uh, Sigma brush. So I'm gonna go into this little darker shade right here and I'm gonna use that as like my transition. So a little higher than my crease. I don't know why I'm talking to you guys like I know what I'm talking about because I am not a makeup artist. It's application video, not a tutorial. We're just playing. You know the thing that I love about makeup? A couple things I love about makeup. One is it has the ability to transform you a little bit. Not necessarily make you look better, but make you look different. I love that philosophy. Philosophy. I also love the fact that nothing is set in stone. It literally washes off. So sometimes it's fun to play because it feels like it brings out my creative side. And I feel like women need creativity. They just need to create. There's gotta be some sort of creative outlet in your life in my personal opinion. Okay, I'm gonna take this one right here. That's kind of like a, almost like a chestnut brown. And we're just gonna go into the crease a little bit here. You know, so far, so good. This is actually probably, I mean, so far, this actually could be a palette I would keep in a car, if you know what I mean. You know, quick quick touch up. If it doesn't survive a, a winter or, <laughs> you know, a summer, then it doesn't break, you know, it's not gonna kill you. And again, this was a, a free gift with purchase, so I didn't actually pay for this. And again, pretty sheer compared to how dark it looks in the pan. That doesn't really surprise me, but it, I feel like I was able to build it up a little bit too. So again, if I'm like, I could throw this in my work car because I'm going to probably wear more subtle shades in there anyway, when I'm driving, uh, when I'm, you know, if I have to touch up right before a meeting or something, I can see keeping something like this in there. We're just trying to darken this up just a little bit. So the first one I used was Phases, and then I went into Moonstone, and that was Stardust. Now I'm going to take Meteorite, and this is just that same second brush that I started with. Well, it sounds, that's not accurate, is it? I started with one brush, then I went to a second brush. This is the same brush that I've been using for the last few shades. Uh, and I did that intentionally. The first brush I wanted to keep relatively unsullied in case I have to do any buffing, blending at the end. Okay, so this particular shade, not super pigmented, but seems to be building up enough. I kind of feel like this might be a good palette for somebody who is not real sure of their skills and doesn't really want to make a mistake. I'm not getting any kind of skippiness and I don't have a huge, and what I mean by skippy is it's not like my brush isn't skipping on it. That could be that um, primer too. Maybe maybe that's the key. Maybe I just never use their store brand primer or a, you know, a, a primer that was appropriate with this particular brand, but I'm actually feeling like even as I build it up, I feel like it's kind of coming together. Yeah. Not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit down here just for fun. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, so we've got these, we've got three shimmers, right? We've got this one, little dry feeling, not like super, super creamy. Those are the, the three shimmers. So I've got even a relatively clean hand here. Hmm, I feel like these two, the two brown ones, Glistening and Solstice, are about the same color, but one of them has a little bit more of a uh, shimmer to it. And I think that's Glistening. Take that, sort of press it and drag it over the eyelid. Can't get away from a smoky look, huh, you guys? So here's my, the flaw and the slaw, as sometimes I like to say. Now that I've taken that darker shade all over my lid, 
I feel like it's kind of closed off my lids a little bit. Good thing that I have a super light vanilla shade because I think I'm going to use that to lighten things up. So let me go into a little bit different of a brush here. I've got a little pencil brush. I'm going to grab Lunar, which is like this kind of light vanilla matte. And that's going to go in my inner corner, but then I'm also going to take it up over just above my lash line so that I can kind of lighten up a little bit right here so that it doesn't look so heavy. I feel like it opened up the eye just a little bit more. You know, it's nice that shimmer showed up with a little bit of opacity to it. That's actually not a bad thing. I think I was expecting it to be a little, a little bit more subtle. Um, okay, pulling that matte up over the top of it. Actually, it was a nice... That's a nice way of doing that. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna grab my first brush that was my, with the one that I used to kind of set down that primer, the second to the lightest shade that I used in here. And let's just kind of blend it a little bit. I don't mind the way these colors look together either. They're actually, I mean, I've used a number of shades. I think I've only not used two, so I've used literally six shades on my eyes so far. And it's okay. It's, I mean, maybe not my most favorite, but again, we're talking about a neutral, uh, a neutral eyeshadow palette. I went back into the kind of reddish brown in here called Stardust. I don't really feel like a red brown would be Stardust. I would call it maybe clay or dirt or along those lines. Okay. That brought up that eye shape and a little bit more where I need it. You know what? We haven't used two of the shades in here and they're both shimmers. I'm going to take another little pencil brush and I'm going into the lighter of the two and let's dust a little bit of this down here. I think that just got into my wrinkles and crinkles. I probably should have left well enough alone. Okay. I don't mind the way that smudged against my lash line, honestly. I'm uh, going to take my beauty blender, the tip of it, and just kind of clean it up a little bit here. And now I have gotten rid of all of that color corrector. So let me put some more of that on. Uh, I do have a, do, I, I think I have the residual of some maybe eyebrow pencil on, but I did not put on a, a brow gel. So this came with, a, the kit came with a little clear brow gel, like the spoolie, it's a little itty bitty spoolie. That actually makes it nice because then you can really be specific about, not getting in your hair, really be specific about where you're putting it on, which I don't mind that at all. And I also like too, because it's such a small spoolie, I like the fact that I'm not getting too much of the brow gel in my brow hairs. I can feel it on my, um, on there, but it doesn't feel too heavy and weighted down. So let's let that dry down and we'll give it a, give it a whirl here. Also came with a Lash Flash Warm Water Wash Off Mascara. Let's see what color it is. Uh, looks like a black mascara and it's got one of those little tiny plastic wands. And this reminds me a little bit of like maybe the Fenty mascara has this type of wand. The eyeshadow palette did not come with a mirror and I actually took my mirror to go wash it because it was because it had so many fingerprints on it and just makeup and stuff like that all right so mascara wise here not horrible actually lash flash huh now we'll scribble in a little bit down here yeah that mascara actually seems adequate not wow inducing but it's not there's nothing about it that's upsetting me either which is nice because kind of picky on my mascara i get really frustrated with mascaras that they don't perform there are worse things to get frustrated about it's like that's like first world problems right the, but the whole channel is first world problems <laughs> don't don't think that we're solving world problems here we're not I actually read something earlier today and it kind of irritated me it was a comment on a, another beauty guru another beauty channel on youtube and it was a comment and it ended up turning political and and they were talking about how at certain levels, everybody's immoral stuff. And I just wanted to say there's moral corruption in every political party, <laughs> just every walks of life. It doesn't have to be one or the other, but I kept out of it. I didn't get into it. No sense in inviting, inviting a fight. Okay. I'm not mad at that mascara and I'm actually not mad at the, the look that I've created either. Put on a little tiny bit of setting powder, which is this one. This is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, which is going to be a little glowy, I would imagine. So just as I expected, I have a little bit of glow on, but my face looks okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I think Ulta's kind of upped its game a little bit. Okay. They didn't give me a lip liner, but I did get a lip pencil and, or a lip, a lipstick, a lip bullet. And this is really dark. This is probably way too dark for me. So we're going to put some on and then I might have to lighten it up a little bit. So, uh, do you know how long it's been since I've worn like a lipstick like this? Uh, wait, hold on. Okay. First off, it has been a long time since I've worn any kind of like a satin type lipstick. The dark, the lipstick may be a little dark. I think originally I was worried that the foundation and the products that I was putting on, it was going to be too washed out, but I feel like I've got this glow thing going on right now. And even though I don't normally wear a darker lip, 
I don't mind that. Did I just change my opinion on Ulta makeup? I gotta be honest, you guys. I came into this video thinking, you know what, I'm not gonna like this stuff, but we'll do it for the content. We'll do it just in case somebody else got it and, you know, we'll poke holes in it. And the reality is, is I'm probably not gonna like it, but I have time to change my makeup and, you know, had the excuses. I feel like I got a little red right there. But now that I have my makeup on, this is, this is fine. This is like a smoky neutral look. I didn't wear any eyeliner, I don't have any eyeliner on. And I'm slightly glowier than I normally would be, but I almost feel like this is a good, like, healthy kind of glow. I'm a little shocked, you guys. I'm trying to decide if I have a lighter shade that I can put on right in the center. I have this e.l.f. Elf Seriously Satin one. Hmm. That might not have lightened it up enough, but I don't know. I feel like I've gotten some dimension. I'm very glowy right now. That's the only thing, but part of that is the Laura Mercier powder, I think gives me a little bit of glow, but I actually don't mind it. I would maybe do a matte setting spray and call it a day. So with that, I'm actually not upset by my makeup. It's crazy what makeup will do. Okay, you guys, tell me what you think. Have you tried the Ulta Beauty line in a long time or does this surprise you? Does this give you a chance to maybe check it out again? I picked up a, a, another product that I didn't use today. I actually bought this. This is one of their Too Cheeky for lips and cheeks. And then I also picked up a Stay Cheeky liquid blush and another lip oil. And this looks like it'll be a little bit more of what I'm used to. I picked up those at the same time I picked up these things because I think there was like a buy three, get a percentage off or something. It must have been. Anyway, yeah, you know what? The mascara is fine. The eyeshadow I'm actually fine with. The blush had more pigment than I thought it would be. It did take a little bit to build up the eyeshadow, but the end result I think is fine. That's it. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys are doing really well and um, yeah, stay tuned. There'll be another one in like two or three days, depending on when this video has gone up. It's going to be a, a Monday, Wednesday or Friday. 3 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And I hope you guys are doing really well. So until my next video, bye for now.